Hello, I am Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to render out in an image sequence. You have two reasons why you should do that. One reason would be if you want to work on your computer and yeah, you want to stop your render and continue another time and then you can render out in an image sequence and then just pick up the render again once you feel like it. Another reason would be if you work with important files that have strict deadlines and if After Effects, for example, crashes, you still would have the complete part until when it crashed and then you can just pick it up again and start rendering the other part of that intro or video, whatever. Um, so one of my subscribers asked me how to do that because I'm, uh, I made a tutorial on the Transformers intro and as I said in that tutorial, it can get really slow. So it took a long time to render and he wanted to do it in a few steps. So to do that, I will show you two ways of doing it. You can go to composition, add the composition to the Adobe Media Encoder queue or add it to the render queue in After Effects. Media Encoder is yeah a little bit easier for a lot of settings, um, but if you wanna do just image, uh, JPEG images, you can just go to render queue right here and then change it to a JPEG format and then automatically it will calculate the numbers right here, save it somewhere, so I'll just name this render and click on the folder. Then once I click open and save, I will render it out and now it's going to start rendering each frame of that video into an image sequence. So let's stop this rendering because I'm just here to show you how to do it and then right click import your video file again and then open up that folder and you will see that it creates a new folder and in there you see all these images and click on the first image make sure you have a sequence checked and import it again then also add it to a composition and go to composition add adobe media encoder queue and adobe media encoder is going to start up and then you can watch my other video that explains on how to do the best render settings in After Effects. I will link it in the description, but it's going to uh, get into uh, Adobe Media Encoder right here. And then you can render it out as a JPEG sequence to an MP4 uh, video format. And that's going to go a lot faster. So it's going to be really fast because you don't have to calculate all the effects and all these things. I would suggest if you don't want to lose any quality in your video, don't use a JPEG format, but use a TIFF format. That's a lot better. It doesn't lose any detail. So that's a great tip to know. Make sure you use TIFF if you don't want to lose any quality of your video. JPEG is okay for previews and stuff like that. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you learned something. If you did, click the like button. Also subscribe to the channel to see more. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.